Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Mill Creek Government Channel. It's Channel 9. I'm Phil Fatika, and I am joined by two very wealthy people. And I'll explain <laughs> what that means in just a moment. <laughs> Sitting on your left is Deborah Debbie Steiner with the SBDC. SBDC standing for? Small Business Development Center. And in the middle is Barbara Ward. She also with the SBDC, and you do? I work as a business consultant for the Gannon Small Business Development Center. So what we are talking about is the broad template of would you like to start your own business mm -hmm. or do you have an existing business that you would like to grow? If so, and everybody I think out there knows somebody that wants to do this, these are the people you want to talk to. They have the answers for you. And what are the answers? Barb, Deb, how do they do this? I have this great idea for a new widget, but I don't know what to do with it. Well, the other day uh, we were talking about the SBDC being the best kept secret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Small Business Development Center has been housed at Gannon University since 1981. And so we want uh, the viewers to remember the SBDC is here in town to service Erie County. Mm -hmm. So can they walk into it? Anytime. There's walk-ins. We're located on the Gannon campus. Where? 120 West 9th Street. Right off of Ninth and Peach. Peach. Yes, yes. Yeah, there's a sign by the door, so you can walk in almost any time and say, "Here I am. I want to own my business." Okay. Exactly. Now, how do you come into play, Barb? Well, uh, after an individual signs a mm -hmm. form mm -hmm. to become a client, uh, we like to have them take a class called a first step class. This is if they are a startup. That class is, um, I think, very educational, but it's also a great networking opportunity right. for people. And it covers the basics, the ABCs of starting a business and what to do first. Do you have to pay for this? That class is $25. Oh, wow. Well. And, yeah. and it's like one day, two days? It's a three-hour class, okay. and it's offered the second Thursday of the month, and we alternate between uh, 9 to noon mm -hmm. or a 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So we're capturing people that may be available during the day or may be available in the evening. What's the biggest mistake, that, Debbie, that uh, people come in and say, okay, uh, I don't need your help, but I just want to do this because I really know where I'm going here. What kind of a mistake or mistakes do they make trying to start their own business? The information we want to get out to prevent your entrepreneurs, those are people considering going into business. One is doing their homework. Okay. Now homework can be a scary word to use, but they're, they're preparing their business plan. They're methodically thinking out the steps to starting the business. They're doing their research to find out if it's a feasible, feasible business opportunity, which essentially means, is there a chance for my business? Is there the market, the customers? Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, is it a good decision for me? Sure. In other words, does the entrepreneur or the individual have the resources? Now, resources can be considered to be time. Because owning your own business is not a 40-hour work no, week at all. No. Uh, it's a, a, a significant amount of time from your family as well as away from the life that you used to have, let's say. Uh, financial resources. And that's covered in the course? That's covered in the mechanics of the three-hour okay. first-step workshop, okay. absolutely. Okay. And we also review it on the one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions as well. Mm -hmm. But part of that process in consulting and what we provide at no charge uh, is to sit down with that entrepreneur and look at their, each of their situations individually. And we were talking about financial resources. Do they have the credit? history, a good credit history, because if you're going to a bank, they're going to look at your credit history. In addition to that, do you have savings to put down if mm -hmm. you need a loan? Mm -hmm. The bank likes to see you putting cash down. In other words, you're putting good faith down on the table that I believe in this business and mm -hmm. I'm also contributing and investing in this. Mm -hmm. Part of that money to help you get growing and prospering, but first you have to start, is the money I'm holding in my hand here. And this is the money that has been allotted to the microloan programs for business because this is the name of the game when you come and see these two women here. That's a 20, by the way. <laughs> oh, my wife let me have some money to show this. <laughs> you know how that goes. These are singles. Where's the money coming from to help these people? Well, in the microloan, in the case of the microloan, um, that's coming for, from the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority. Okay, they have given you this money, this have, seed money in a sense. They have actually given the Erie County Economic 
development corporation the money. They okay. are the ones who will underwrite the loan. They are the ones who will uh, review the loan mm -hmm. to make sure it's it's a viable loan and a good. So it's going to be viable. How many of these Benjamins do they get if they qualify at the head end? <laughs> well, there is a that maximum. <laughs> there's a maximum of twenty five thousand dollars available in a micro loan. Um, you don't have to use all of the twenty five thousand, and that's something that we can mm -hmm. help with sure. at the SBDC in terms mm -hmm. of structuring their startup costs. The startup costs are what will it take to get the door open, okay, and then the operating budget. What will it cost to operate this business over the next year? But we break it down month by month. Okay. So it's everything should be ideally in that perfect world. Everything should be on paper so that we, and and that's the purpose that mm -hmm. Debbie was referring mm -hmm. to in the business plan is you don't want any surprises. Let's work out all the bugs on paper mm -hmm. when there's no money involved. Right. But then when you are eligible for the loan, um, that uh, is available to Erie County. County businesses, they are targeting the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority is targeting all of Erie County, but specifically minority and women-owned businesses, uh, cottage industries, say an artist mm -hmm. who wants to now go to the next level from working out of their home, um, and nonprofits. I think I might have forgotten one. No, oh, I think, I right think yeah. yeah, there's there's quite a few to cover, and I have. Oh, rural, a, a, I'm sorry. It's excuse me for interrupting. Okay, no. It's it's rural and urban poverty areas. Okay. So maybe certain big, townships. Big reach, yeah. Yes. But the people to talk to and reach are these two people right here, located again on West Ninth in Peach. Phone number, website, got website, them all. Website, uh, very easy. www.sbdc. Gannon.org. Again, that's sbdcgannon.org, and our acronym is Small Business Development Center. Okay. Or they can call the main number at 871 7232 mm -hmm. uh, at any time, and mm -hmm. they can get transferred to a consultant or they can participate in our educational seminars. Good. Now, uh, it is a loan. So yes. if I do well, then I get my mo I have to pay you back, right? You have to okay. pay it back, right. But then that... With, with interest or a little bit of interest? Yes, and the interest is defer determined on a case-by-case -case basis, okay. and it's based on the prime, and then there will be a factor regarding your credit, mm -hmm. as Debbie talked mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. and then there is an administration component mm -hmm. within that interest rate. But the idea is, is that it will then seed other businesses for the future. This sure. is really a wonderful thing from the Erie County Gaming Revenue Right, Authority. people were asking about that. When is that money going to be spread around? Well, now it is being spread around. It is. Yeah, and there's a great um, brochure they have here that says, it, we can show you tighter in a graphic, start, grow, and prosper. And it all comes into the slot machines that they have mm -hmm. at the um, yeah, at the casino. And what business do you want to own? Because I ask her this and she won't answer me. So I'm going to give you this money, Barbara Ward. Okay. Now you got to give me your business plan. Well, now remember the business plan, but the structure of it is a very creative idea sure. with a systematic plan. What's hot? There's, there's a lot yeah. that's hot. I think things that have to do with energy, mm -hmm. things that have to do with consignment. Consignment stores are, the paper just reported a huge increase mm -hmm. yes. in consignment. Why is that? I saw that and I saw a report on TV about consignment stores are popping up. People want to liquidate. People want this cash. Okay. okay. I think and they want to spend less. They want to spend, spend be less. more wise than what they're doing. Yeah. And I think it's a sign of the times, too, where people are being more, I, I want to say green, mm -hmm. user friendly, mm -hmm. sharing more in that regard. And, you know, we're coming out of a recession as well. And I think mm -hmm. they're being uh, more efficient with the way they spend their funds. And one of the ways to do it is to utilize these consignment stores. And I don't know if you've had a chance to go into any of them, but they really have some nice furniture, clothing, yes. toys for kids. Yeah. Um, I am really pleased that two women are here today because mm -hmm. it's always been stereotypically, well, I'm not sure if you really understand the ins and outs of nonsense. You know, that stereotype I hope has gone away that you're just as financially savvy as anybody else when it comes Sorry. to doing this. 
and okay, I'll use my house as an example. My wife handles the money, yes. and she gives me some money to come out with. <laughs> what about your house? You're walking around money, huh? <laughs> yeah. Our house is run in a partnership fashion. <laughs> I'd like to consider that as opposed to a sole corporation. Well, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a part, ours, is, ours is a partnership too. <laughs> but I'm glad to see that you know more and more women are saying, "I can do this. I really believe I can make myself a success at this." It's not an easy success, though, because these, the chances of it not succeeding, and you will bring that out to them, are pretty high. You know, the and I don't want to be negative. No, and I, I want to address the demographics of our entrepreneurs are across the board. We have mm -hmm. young entrepreneurs that walk in out of high school, those that are in college exploring. Mm -hmm. uh, we have minorities, there's women of all ages, even the immigration population, which you'll find across the United States, they're extremely entrepreneurial because they're destined to survive, they're destined to succeed. Wonderful. And a lot of them bring crafts and technical trades from their country, uh -huh. and they have that spirit, you know, the spirits right. that's within our nation, right. the free enterprise. And so a lot of it comes from the enthusiasm and the commitment of the entrepreneur. One thing we've seen throughout the years of our SBDC clients or the Small Business Development Center clients is they have this wherewithal, and they've right. created networks and partnerships with their bank, with their CPA firm, their law firm, and sometimes we look at those as subcontracted partners. In reality, they need to be part of that business model you just talked about uh, to help us figure out the ins and outs, and if there's times of trouble, mm -hmm. for example, there's external factors that'll influence our business, and that could be the economy, that could be a number of things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's internal factors, our employees, expenses, overhead, and we need to work with both of those. And it's, it's hard sometimes for an entrepreneur because oftentimes they're working in the business and you'll hear this quite often. They're working in day in and day out. And sometimes it's very, very good to step outside and look, and that's where the SBDC can come into play and the consultants like Barbara or Steve or John help that entrepreneur look at their business as a whole. How efficient am I? Mm -hmm. What's my profit margin? Right. Am I truly succeeding? Uh, debt to equity ratio, inventory turn. We deal with restaurants to manufacturers mm -hmm. to technology companies. And I think you're getting into the, you've crossed to the continuum from I want to be a startup to I have it, but now I'd like to get better at it. That's right. Um, and that continuum is, you can't really put a significant dividing line, but is this money available for those kinds of people too? And it's still capped at 25000 Absolutely. Okay. It is. Okay.